Hey guys, in today's video I will be explaining how to care for Oscar's fish. These fish are my very favorite fish to keep because they get very large, very colorful, they're super personable and they even start to greet you when you walk up to the tank. As you can see, I have two decent sized tiger Oscars in this tank as well as a short body tank to stick with. This tank is a 120 gallon aquarium, it's filtered by a pair of large hang on the back filters. I do have a canister filter. I think I might be missing a piece though, so I'm gonna try and figure that out later. I do recommend canister filters for tanks of this size, I just haven't gotten around to figuring out mine. But currently these two hang on the back filters are doing a really good job. In this video, I'm going to outline the basic care information first, okay, basic care for Oscars first, get that out of the way, then I'll kind of move into the more advanced stuff such as tank mates and that type of thing. So first we're gonna cover, cover temperature and filtration. For temperature, these fish like temperatures between 74 and 81 degrees. I heat my tank to around 77 degrees so that when the tank naturally fluctuates during the day, you know, fish is still comfortable, it doesn't get too cold, it doesn't get too hot, they're still fine. And uh, proper filtration is also super important for keeping these fish, as they're like super, super messy eaters. They tend to spit out the majority of the food or they just don't eat it sometimes. They're really fussy fish as well. So on this tank, as I said before, for the two large hang on the back filters, do a fairly good job of keeping this tank clean and um, I'll also do pretty frequent water changes so that I keep it in good condition. I'm, I plan on adding more fish to this tank so as soon as I start adding more fish to the tank I'm gonna get better more powerful filtration for it to figure out the canister filters or whatnot but for the time being those two things are doing pretty good. When setting up filtration for your tank, you need to make sure that the filter that you have on your tank can sufficiently turn over the amount of water in your tank enough to keep it clean. I tend to try and get my filters to be able to move all the water in the tank twice per hour so I can be sure that it's keeping up with the amount of waste that's being produced by the fish as well as you know just circulating the water and keeping it fresh. Then tank size. Oscars are one of the most mistreated fish in the hobby and there are lots of misconceptions about the size of tank you can actually keep these guys in. So I've seen people keeping them in like 20 gallon tanks and stuff and that's just, it'll be fine for when they're babies, you know, but it's not gonna be great when they're an adult. So you can probably get away with keeping a single adult Oscar in a 55 gallon aquarium. I would suggest keeping them in larger than a 55, like maybe 70, 75 gallon aquarium. That would be ideal for one Oscar and then maybe you could put like more decorations or whatever in there so that it uh you know it doesn't take away swimming space and a 55 if you put too many decorations in or whatever hiding spots it kind of takes away from the space of the fish itself so yeah if you're looking to keep these fish with other fish i wouldn't go any smaller than 120 gallons excuse me that's what i'm currently keeping mine in as i said before 120 gallon tank six feet long by I think 20 inches tall and 20 inches wide. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure that's a pretty standard build for a 100 gallon aquarium or 120 gallon aquarium, sorry. And it works really well. They have lots of swim space, lots of area to pace back and forth or whatever. Lots of floor space for them, so it's working out really well. And then for food, Oscars are kind of fussy fish. Sometimes they won't eat certain pellets, like I currently have a mix of a few different brands and they don't like one of the pellets that's in there. So if I just take like a small handful, throw it in, they'll eat everything but those pellets, or they'll eat those pellets last, because I just don't like them very much. But yeah, like I would uh, suggest a high quality pellet, just something super, super good, you know, to actually enjoy. I raised my Oscars entirely on Bug bites, super, super good. They're a little bit more expensive for, uh, like, rather than just normal cichlid pellets, but they're worth every penny. They're such a good food. I actually fed that to my African cichlids for a bit as well, but I just haven't gotten out to a proper pet store in a little while, so I haven't been able to buy the bug bites. But yeah, so it's just really important to uh, have a varied diet when it comes to pellets and stuff. And then, like, live foods, like goldfish, guppies, that type of thing. Or feeder guppies, not like fancy guppies, but, you know. That type of thing is so much fun. I love feeding them that. It's just so cool to watch them, like, 
chase them down, catch them or whatever, but I don't feed that as like a main thing in their diet. I use that as like a treat or like, yo, I'm at the store, I haven't fed them feeder fish in like six weeks, seven weeks, so I'm going to do it. You know, it's just a fun thing to do. Kind of do it when I have guests over or whatever. But like, you know, not great. They're not super nutritious and uh, they can actually carry like diseases that can then be passed over to your fish because you go into Petland, PetSmart or whatever, the feeder fish are just in horrible tanks. There's like 300 of them in like a 25 gallon aquarium or whatever they have in there. Those square little cubes. They got them in there and there's like so many and they're eating dead fish and it's just, just gross. Gross, gross, gross tanks. So, you know, it's not great for your fish. Every now and then that's fine. It's like a treat or whatever, like I said before. Like, you wouldn't feed a dog or a cat entirely treats. Also, they're going to get fat. They're going to get unhealthy. It's the same with fish. So, yeah, you just don't want to be uh, constantly feeding them unhealthy foods. Now, onto tank mates, which is probably a part of the video you clicked on this video for, right? Uh, Oscars are, like, aggressive predatory fish, and that's going to hinder what you can put them with. They are natural predators. Anything that they can eat, they are going to eat. So, just be aware of that. Like, they've bitten my fingers and stuff. So, that's always fun. But, yeah. Some fish that I would recommend to keep with Oscars. Obviously, I have a short body Texas cichlid in there right now. I would highly recommend short body Texas or just normal Texas cichlids. Because they're pretty cool. I actually meant to buy a normal Texas cichlid. But, I, uh... I think I asked for a normal Texas cichlid, and the employee was, oh, well, we got short body ones, so we're just going to put that one in the bag instead. But it's whatever. I still like that fish. It's still pr pretty cool looking. I enjoy it. It's really colorful, really nice, so that's awesome. And then uh, a few other fish that are good will be uh, Jack Dempsey's and Jaguar cichlids. I currently have two young, well, one of each, two young little fish there that will be growing up. They're currently in with my African cichlids, which is working out all right, you know. Have a few problems in there down the road when the Jack Dempsey and Jaguar cichlid get too big. And then I'll have to move the Africans out of the way. But yeah, that's working out just fine for now. Going out, going to put them in there. They're going to be great. Be perfect. Some other fish that I'm personally not keeping, haven't kept, but I've seen other people do seamlessly are Severums. Every list, every forum that you go on for Oscar fish is going to be like, yes, Severums are great. Your Oscar will love Severums. And it's just, they work, they're really cool fish, they dish it and they take it. They're perfect, like, tank mates for Oscars. And then, uh, super large plecos, I've seen that work. You have to be careful with the smaller ones because... They get the spikes and whatever in your Oscar. will try and eat it, then it gets stuck in the Oscar's throat. Sorry. And it ends up uh, just killing both fish, because then your Oscar can't get out of its mouth. It ends up dying, so be careful with like, catfish and plecos. But if you get a pleco that looks like a stick of driftwood, and it's kind of chilling in the tank, your Oscar's not going to go for it, because it doesn't look like food. So, yeah, and they're just pretty boring fish anyways. So, your Oscar might pick at it because it's not moving. So, plecos are an option, but I'm not certain how well that would work. Another super common tank mate is arowanas. I don't have the room for an arowana in this tank. They need massive, massive tanks. Or else I would have an arowana. They're super, super cool fish. They're super expensive fish, but they're worth it. They're really sick looking. I would highly recommend keeping Oscars with arowanas. If you have the tank room for the arowana, just, I'm not super familiar with Oscars, I know, aren't I'm super familiar with Oscars, not super familiar, familiar with arowanas, so I don't know how large of a tank they need, I just know it's way bigger than 120 gallons. So, yeah, they get, they get huge silver arowanas, Asian arowanas, whatever, huge. They're not going to fit in that style of tank, so you're going to need a way bigger tank if you're looking to keep arowanas with Oscars. But that, those would work. 
I mean, just other similar tank tank mates, sorry. Like, uh, giant Garamis, uh, other large cichlids, like, oh, now I'm blanking, but yeah, just the large cichlids, large American cichlids. Don't try and put them with African cichlids, because they get large. I'm sure, well, frontosas would work, and I'm pretty sure that, uh, frontosas are African cichlids. It's like, let me check. Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, yeah, frontosas are African cichlids, but they get super, super big. So, they'd work with Oscars, but Oscars grow way faster than frontosas. So your Oscar will outgrow the frontosa if you buy them at the same time. They work as adults together. They work when they're the same size, but the Oscar just grows so much faster that it's going to grow faster than the... Um, Frontosa, outgrow it, kill it, eat it, whatever. So you might want to grow up Frontosa or Frontosas in a separate tank before moving them in with the Oscars. Or like have them together as babies or whatever, so they kind of know each other, get used to having tank mates. And then uh, then you can just move the Frontosas out or the Oscars out when the uh, Oscar gets too large and then put the Frontosas back when they're the right size. But yeah. Just, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found the video entertaining. Hope you found the information that you were looking for and enjoyed the video. If you did, please draw, do drop a like on this video and subscribe for similar content. I would strongly recommend that you watch more than just one video on this. Like, don't just take my word for it. Look up other channels that, uh, other videos, you know, so they've got more information. I would strongly recommend this one channel called Palmer Aquatics, I think it's called. If you look that up, it'll show up. But he's he's where I go whenever I have a question. I look it up, that that guy up, see anything there. If I'm looking up any topic and I see a bunch of videos and then his is a little further down, I'm always going to click on his because it's just, he's bang on every time. I base like everything I do off of him. So yeah, definitely go check him out as well if you're looking for a bit more information on this. But yeah, thanks again for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video if you do decide to, ch if you do decide to stick around. Alright, see ya.